With the latest on the fatal police shooting of a black man in Columbus, Ohio, the police chief calling for the officer to be fired as the family of Andre Hill says that's not enough. ABC's Stephanie Ramos joins us now with an exclusive interview with Hill's family. Stephanie, good morning. Wit, good morning. The day after the shooting of Andre Hill, the police union released a statement calling for due process. However, the Hill family is demanding justice now. I couldn't believe it was him. It's still unbelievable. This morning, a family's heartbreak after 47-year-old Andre Hill was fatally shot by a Columbus, Ohio police officer. His daughter still struggling to break the news to her children who affectionately referred to their grandfather as Big Daddy. And they still don't know. They're innocent kids. They don't even know what's going on. They think their Big Daddy's at work or something. They don't understand this. Police body camera video shows Hill approaching an officer who responded to a non-emergency call early Tuesday morning. Here, you can see him holding a cell phone in his left hand. His right hand was not visible. At this point, Officer Adam Coy, a 19-year veteran, raises his weapon and fires. Instead of helping a wounded Hill, he shouts commands. Put your hands out to the side. These cops are too aggressive. They were cussing at my dad after they shot him. If you watch the video, you can hear him gasping for his last breath. And they're just cussing at him to put his hands behind his back and move his hands. And he's laying there shot. The officer only turning on his body camera after the shooting. This video automatically capturing 60 seconds prior to that moment, but without audio. To shoot a man who he was investigating a noise disturbance. This wasn't some criminal call, some emergency call. This was a non-emergency call. On Thursday, Columbus Police Chief Tom Quinlan calling for Officer Coy's termination. Some may call this a rush to judgment. It is not. We have an officer who violated his oath to comply with the rules and policies of the Columbus Division of Police. This violation cost an innocent man his life. Protesters rallying for justice on Thursday. Black Lives Matter! Hill's grieving family says they want Coy behind bars. I not only want justice for Andre, I want justice for everyone that has been done wrong. I need for him to do time. Hill's devastated relatives remember his love for life. Do your thing, y'all. Have your fun and enjoy yourselves. Life is grand. Peace. He was definitely a family man. He loved family gatherings. He loved to cook. His energy would just change when you walked in the room, you know? I'm going to miss talking to him and miss hearing him call me and just being there for me. ABC News has reached out to Officer Coy multiple times for comment, and we have not heard back. There is a press conference scheduled for later this afternoon held by attorney Ben Crump. He's been hired by the Hill family. And then on Monday, the Columbus Department of Public Safety, which oversees the police department, will hold a hearing to consider the police chief's recommendations that that officer who fired those fatal shots at Hill be terminated. Eva. Stephanie Ramos for us with that report. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.